Hey everybody, Rune the Gaming Tad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we're going to show you how to use those fish baskets a little bit more effectively to tame Shadow Mains. So we're on Fjorder on our private Patreon server, and really all you need for this is a Thatch Foundation and a Cryopod. On our Patreon server, we do have Structure Collision turned on, and you will need to have that turned on to make this particular type of trap for fish happen. You can see, let's get rid of the chat here, and you'll be able to see where we're at on the map. The reason you need Structure Collision turned on is so we can trap those fish underneath these thatch foundations. So to take the Shadow Maiden, the best fish that you're going to want to get is anything that has a 1.5 weight or higher. So let's see if we can search around and find one of those guys. There we go. There's a 1.7. So that's exactly what you need. So we're going to get this guy to swim around and try to get him to go to the bottom of the ocean floor. And then we're going to try to throw that thatch foundation right over the top of it. Now, if you're going to do this for saber-toothed salmon, it's really easy because most of the time they're in a stream. And that stream is you know, pretty close to the ground, so you should be able to throw the thatch foundation over pretty easily. But for these types of fish, they are a little tricky. So you can see we're going to try to get this fish to come right down to the bottom and try and throw a thatch foundation over it. And you can see it kind of dive bombs the ocean floor and then just makes its way back up. So it can be frustrating at times. So the more shallow water you can do this in, the better. I think we're going to get... Yeah, this little guy is just trying to be frustrating. Here we go. And just missed him. So let's jump ahead in time and we'll show you kind of where we found it to be easier to trap. So on some of these ocean floors, as we kind of get some breaths of air here, if you scuba it, obviously this is going to be easier. You can see where the land kind of slopes down. Right about here. This is a good place to throw a thatch foundation. So get that fish. Luckily this one stopped, so we're just going to throw the thatch foundation right over the top of it. And the fish can't get out. And then we're just going to throw our fish basket right on top of the thatch foundation. Now with that, the trap automatically initializes. We'll gather some air and trap our koa. Pick up our thatch floor and we can be on our merry way. So to tame a shadow main, you need a filled fish basket. But the problem with the filled fish basket is it does have a spoil timer of 40 minutes in your inventory. So you kind of need these fish, know exactly which shadow main you want to get and kind of go for it. But if you just throw that filled fish basket right back out after you get it under the water. That fish is yours and it's tame, so you can go ahead and cryopod it. So you can take your time, gather the fish that you need, make sure you have the right weights, make sure you have enough of them, fill the fish basket, open it up, cryopod those fish, and take them back to base. So that is probably the easy way if you have structure collision turned on to make that happen. Another way, if you want to start to breed these fish, they're not really breedable unless you use S+. And we're here to throw some foundations down, and we're going to throw down the S+, plus Propagator. So the Propagator is a really cool way to breed dinos that may not be breedable. So we're going to throw in three fish here that we've tamed, and we threw some element in there, and we're going to prepare those dinos for breeding and start breeding. And one of them has to be a male, and the other one, other one or two, or how many have in there, need to be females. And it costs one element to change the sex and one to element to breed. So we have a 2.0 weight, a 1.2, and a 1.2. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the breeding process. And it'll consume that element in the propagator. You can see it's about two minutes. So we'll kind of fast forward in time here. And we can show you what happens after that timer comes down. So here we go with just one second left. And what's really interesting is once they're done, they'll actually put eggs in the propagator. So you can see we have two here, and we're going to pull those out, and we'll put them in the egg incubator. So over to the right here, you can see to the left was our cloning chamber where we tested trying to clone these fish, and it does not work, unfortunately, because they can't reach the pad. So what we do is we'll put our egg incubator on, on automatic control, and these particular eggs have a timer of eight minutes. So we'll swing back. There we go. Kind of fast forward it through those eight minutes. And now we're going to jump in and we're going to hatch those eggs. Just hatch them just like anything else. They'll hatch underneath the water. You click this one here. 
There we go. And oddly enough, we got two sets of twins. So the only unfortunate thing is that in not all of these fish does the weight carry over. So that's something that you're going to have to be aware of. Is you, if you try to breed these to get higher weights, it's not always going to transfer correctly. But it is a way for you to gather a few fish of good weights, maybe start to breed them, maybe get lucky with some of the weights, and then you can have the perfect fish to tame your shadow mains. Just want to say thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video.